Allison Uten with Micron at the Flash Memory Summit in San Jose, California, where Micron's vice president of our NAND Solutions Group, Glenn Hawk, recently gave a keynote address on the alchemy of NAND Flash. Uh, a lot of us in this room, I think, uh, are modern day alchemists, and we should all be proud of that. Uh, in our own way, from silicon to systems, we're doing some pretty amazing things. We're doing things that just a few years ago, we're making products that, that people didn't think were possible. Uh, we're, we're doing things that our ancestors thought to be uh, impossible, uh, turning beach sand into silicon. Glenn Hawk, thank you for joining me for you, a follow-up conversation to your successful keynote yesterday, which I should mention drew the attention of some international press who are here. So congratulations on that. Oh, good. Thanks. Now, I don't know if it was visible in the video clip that I just showed, but this was a standing room only crowd. There were nearly a thousand people in attendance. What does that tell you about the evolution of this conference and the evolution of the technology that you're talking about? Yeah, I think it's uh, amazing. I mean, the Flash Memory Summit uh, just gets bigger and better every year. I went out to dinner with some colleagues last night and we were chatting about this. I mean, some of us having been part of the memory industry since Flash started, since it was created, uh, we're still shocked, frankly, that there's a conference that's <laughs> for Flash. And uh, to, to see a, a, a forum like this where so many people can get together and to come out for a, a keynote like that was phenomenal. I, I think it's also a testimony to the team that we have at Micron and that we've got a great story to tell. People want to hear it and so I'm not surprised that the room was packed. Um, I hope that I was able to do our team story justice. Um, you know, got a lot of positive feedback. I think we're on a roll. Several times you referred to NAND as being at a crossroads. What, what do you mean by that? Well, um, you know, I think there have been a few crossroads in the history of NAND, but I think the one that we're at right now is more significant than ever. And basically what I was saying was that, you know, we can all remember back to uh, the previous crossroads where uh, NAND flash replaced film, replaced uh, vinyl or cassettes for music. And now what I think is happening is very exciting and we're just at the beginning of it. And the, the, the new crossroad that I see now is where uh, NAND is now enabling uh, appliances and things in the enterprise that make information instantly accessible and not just accessible in terms of storable or retrievable but in, in the ability to analyze it and do computations very rapidly. I think the world uh, three or four years from now is going to be completely different than it has ever been in the past and it's, it's changing the world forever and that's what this new crossroad is all about. Between 2000 and 2010, an 11-year period, 25.7 million terabytes of NAND flash were consumed by the planet. Okay, now let's put that number in perspective for a second. In the beginning, there were kilobytes, then there were megabytes, then there were gigabytes, and now we're talking terabytes. Terabytes are 1,000 gigabytes, a tremendous amount of NAND flash. At Micron, our view of the next two years is that 57.8 million terabytes are going to be shipped. Okay, that's double the amount of NAND that was shipped over the preceding 11 years. That's a phenomenal amount. For me, one of the astonishing parts of your speech was when you talked about global consumption and Moore's Law. Yeah. Explain to me uh, your theory about doubling, essentially, this well-established formula. Yeah, well, the, you know, the Moore's Law, as you apply it to memories, you can think of it uh, loosely as being we double the bits roughly every two years. Uh, I think most people that are within the flash industry know that we've actually been beating that a little bit and there's a few reasons for that. On the, on the manufacturer, the supplier, the technology side, we've found ways to cheat, so to speak. Uh, we went from single level cell to multi-level cell and now even three level cell. Um, and on the consumption side, as we've driven that scaling so quickly, people have found amazing new uses for our technology. Again, you know, replacing film, uh, replacing uh, different storage elements for music, and now um, a more uh, robust fundamental solution to storing the world's most uh, sensitive and useful information. Uh, I think this is what that progression is all about. One of the hot button topics at tech conferences around the globe is cloud computing. Yeah. A lot of people consider that a threat to our technology, but you call it a win-win. Tell me your perspective on this. Yeah, I think people are, are amazed by this answer. I get that question a lot, by the way, and I think a lot of my colleagues do as well. Uh, a lot of people uh, out there perceive that the cloud is a threat to the flash memory 
uh, industry. The perception is that, well, if I'm storing everything in the cloud, why do I have to store right. it on my smartphone, on my tablet, or whatever? And uh, th what we kind of sit back and go, either way we win. Um, and that's because within the cloud itself, Flash is now disrupting uh, the existing uh, storage media that has traditionally been within the cloud, namely hard disk drives. Uh, Flash SSDs uh, with uh, SATA and SAS interfaces is already penetrating that space very rapidly and making a huge difference in data centers. Also one of the really exciting things is we're seeing Flash used on the server side in enterprise, in uh, PCIe uh, interface SSDs. And that's creating a, a very disruptive effect as well. A tremendous amount of flash uh, is going to be consumed in that part of the cloud, as well as in all the clients that attach to it. So wherever people are going to store their information, we're happy about it. It requires flash, and we've got the products for both. Well, to that point, one of the ways you illustrated where and how Micron's technology is being used is through customer testimonials. I want to uh, show a few of those right now and talk to you about it on the okay. other side. Our mission at GEOCOM is to break the communication barrier that exists between patient and caregiver. And that is regardless of language spoken, someone's culture, or someone's level of literacy. And we're delivering on that mission with Fraser. Fraser is the world's first multilingual medical communication system. Storage is extremely critical for the success of Fraser. And that storage needs to be reliable and perform at a high level. Flash SSD delivers on both those key, key capabilities. I mean, Fraser is going to be in the field in disaster relief situations, environmentally challenging situations, and in hospitals and clinics. And if Fraser goes down, people's lives are at stake. Software is the innovation leader in the uh, infrastructure as a service hosting provider. We try to offer up anything we can that a customer might desire, whether it be a physical solution, a virtualized solution, or a mixed combination there. With the advent of social media, data mining, data analysis, all of these are very high I.O. intensive, heavy throughput uh, applications out there. With those in mind, we need to find a storage solution that will supply what the end customer needs. Flash and SSD is the one that supplies that today. Data Design Corporation is a turnkey product design and manufacturing company. One of the products that we're making is a high-end PCI Express solid-stage storage device. This product would not have been possible for us to produce had it not been for a, a managed NAND technology such as Micron's ClearNAND. It really enabled us to achieve the, the density and the, the power and the IOPS that are required for what our customers are, are looking for. So Glenn, what's the significance of sharing those stories with a larger audience? You know, I, I love those videos, those three videos clips, for so many reasons. Uh, you know, the first is um, they use three different uh, products that we offer in various levels of integration. One of them uses our NAND components. The other uses a managed NAND component called ClearNAND in a high performance application. And the other uses a fully integrated enterprise level SSD that we're now offering. Um, that shows uh, what Micron's all about. We're there with all the different levels of integration that our customers are going to require to get the most out of Flash. The second thing is that I love those clips in particular because those are not companies that you hear about every day. Right. And that shows that what's happening in the industry right now, it's so exciting, is you have these fast moving, very agile, very nimble companies that are out there that are willing to do things differently, that are grabbing our products and putting them into uh, all kinds of very cool applications. And I guess the third thing is that these are the kinds of products that are changing the world. Um, take the Geocom uh, application, for example. How cool is that for those of us at Micron to know that what we're working on is doing something that's, that's making a difference in people's lives. You know, uh, their product makes a difference in the uh, patient caregiver uh, communication process. And they talk about how that's so critical and how important it is to have reliability and, and high quality in that application. And I think it just is, it makes everybody at Micron very proud to be part of that. It makes us want to do better. And a life-saving technology. A life, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not something yeah. that we're, I guess, historically known for. No, and you don't think about it every day, but that's the kind of difference Flash is making in the world today. You know, it's, it's one thing to think about the, the fun things that it does for us with our smartphones and these kind of things, but to th see it in that kind of an application and to think about the people elsewhere in the world 
that would not have access to that kind of care without an appliance like that, that's pretty cool. I want to talk to you a little bit about the memory wall. When we talk about flash innovation, usually the discussion leads to the infamous memory wall, but you are actually quite optimistic about how Micron's positioned for the future. Yeah, absolutely. It, you know, we're optimistic about the future at Micron uh, because we're making it. <laughs> That's you know, absolutely the case. Uh, I've, I've been with Micron now just over a year since the mnemonics acquisition, and now that I've been a part of Micron and have been able to look under the hood and see what's really going on within the, in the company, I think a lot of people outside Micron don't fully appreciate the profound changes that we've been making in multiple areas to address the wall. Um, you know, not only have we developed core competencies in things like error correction and digital signal processing to sort of jump over the wall, but in our, in our technology R&D group, the, the bets that we're placing on next generation technologies, they're absolutely the right ones. The results that we're seeing from them so far are very promising. And that's why it's easy for me to get up in front of a thousand people and to express with a tremendous amount of confidence that you know, we're going to jump over that wall. Talk to me a little bit about 3D NAND and this paradigm shift that it's generating. Yeah, yeah. The, you know, I, I love the, um, the 3D NAND technology. Um, because it's going to be a great technology, but also because it, it, it's a great example of how we're thinking uh, differently, thinking vertically. And that is, is, you know, we've been trying to scale in flat land in two-dimensional space for so long and we've run into so many problems. And we're basically tilting the NAND string up on its vertical axis now, just like a skyscraper. You know, that's our answer to urban sprawl, so to speak, is we're going vertical with our own little skyscrapers, these 3D NAND structures. And it's a paradigm breaker because when we make that transition from our planar NAND technologies to 3D NAND, uh, what we're going to find is that suddenly we have many more knobs to turn within the technology that we didn't have before. And for once, <laughs> uh, it, it, we're going to actually make things smaller and make them better at the same time. And I think that's pretty exciting. I think that's going to unleash a whole new round of products that you know, other companies are going to be able to uh, innovate around. And it's going to be yet the, the next change, I think, in the NAND, in the NAND flash industry. Well, Glenn, thank you so much for sharing some additional perspective on your keynote speech that you gave here recently. Have a great time at the rest of the conference. Thank you, Allison.